Welcome back to that dead guy. It is cold. It is minus 25, minus 25 with the wind chill today. It's going to warm up. Tomorrow is going to be about 8 degrees and uh, we're going to get rain and the snow that's behind me outside is going to melt away. So that's a positive at least. But it is December the 10th. It, um, it's winter time. <laughs> Not officially winter until the 21st, but uh, winter has come and part of winter and getting ready for the holidays is uh, Santa Claus. So I'm not sure if where you are, you can write to Santa Claus easily and get a letter back. But in Canada, we have a direct link to Santa Claus. He lives in the North Pole. His address is Santa Claus North Pole, postal code H-O-H-O-H-O, -H -O -H -O, or Ho 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 Canada. And if you, as a child, or even as an adult, if you want to, you can take an envelope, put that address, dress it to Santa Claus, put your return address in the corner, no postage necessary, put it in a mailbox, and you'll get a letter back from Santa Claus. Free of charge. So it's a great way for kids to communicate, send off their Christmas list to him, and uh, get a response back. All right, I got a secret today. Here is a blank envelope. You can see there is the cancellation stamp from the North Pole from Santa Claus. There is the prepaid stamp on the letter envelope that you will get from Santa Claus. On the back, here's Canada Post symbol. And it says, brought to you by the volunteer Postal Elves. Huh. So, when Santa wasn't looking, I snuck in got one of his letters off his desk. It hasn't been addressed to a child yet. So he's written this up and uh, I'm gonna have to get it back so it can go off to the child it's designated for. But I wanted to give you a sneak peek at what Canada Post and the elves are doing to help Santa to try to get out to all the children. So when we get a letter as a mailman or a mail person or a mail carrier or whatever you wanna call us, uh, we take that letter, we put it in a special section that gets sorted out. Those letters go off to Santa Claus directly, free of charge from Canada Post. He will write up a letter and uh, address set it all back with the, uh, the return address that the child has put on the envelope or the parent has helped put on the envelope. And uh, those letters will come back to us and we'll deliver them off. Now today is December the 10th. Uh, this is normally deadline day that if you get your letter in by today, uh, we will make sure that you get a response back by Christmas because there's only two weeks of working days left. And in order to get those letters picked up today, delivered to the North Pole, written, and then get back to our uh, post offices and delivered to the child, we want to make sure that that gets done. And so today is that date. So I thought I would tell you a bit about it. Now, I told you I got one of the letters. I'm going to read it to you just so you have an idea what might come from Santa Claus or what he's thinking about. And it says, ho, 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 hello. Thank you for your letter. It was so fun to read. I showed it to Buddy and Betsy and Tinsel and Tootsie, and they all told me to send me their send you their hugs and kisses and magical wishes. Everyone is happy and excited for Christmas. We just took a break from the workshop to celebrate the winners of this year's ice sculpture contest. That's always great fun. Mrs. Claus was the judge this year and she had a hard time picking the winner. For the first time ever, we had a three-way tie for first place. Imagine trying to pick a winner from these fabulous ideas. A giant maple leaf tinted red by strawberry juice, a polar bear, in a snowsuit. That's so silly. Polar bears don't need snowsuits. A frost. That's what we call a group of snowmen. Of snowmen in shorts freezing marshmallows by a refrigerator. Now that I think about it, I guess snowmen wouldn't toast marshmallows by a fire, would they? 
The sculptures were so good that Mrs. Claus gave them all first place ribbons. Everyone enjoyed some hot chocolate afterwards. And then we all had shortbread cookies, my favorite cookie this year. There's a good note for you. So if you're putting cookies out for Santa this year, shortbreads are what he wants. And the shortbread cookies shaped like ice sculptures. The elves are now whistling in their way back to work. They're playing catch up in the workshop with Christmas so close. I have to get back to the workshop, so I bid you farewell for now, but I'll see you soon. I will remember to sprinkle ma merry magic dust in the sky above your home. It will bring you happiness and joy throughout the year. I wish you a wonderful holiday. Merry Christmas, your friend, Santa. So you can see he signed it at the bottom. And this is gonna go back to some child in an envelope like this, all sealed with their name and address here. And it'll all go back. So I wanna have a special thank you out to the Canada Post Elves that are doing their best this time of year to uh, get your parcels delivered and get your um, your letters from Santa and back to, or to Santa and from Santa to you. And if you happen to get a letter like this in the mail, it means that Santa Claus got your letter and is writing you back. So thank you so much. I gotta get these back to Santa's desk so they can go to the right person. But never know, check your mail. One of these might show up at your place. I've got a few of them here. So happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and uh, look forward to seeing more stuff out there from me and, and seeing what's going on here at Canada Post or what's going at Post Crossing. Thank you for uh, those of you that send mailbox pictures. Uh, this is the week that I'm going to put up that world mailbox video. I've got 30 countries now. Um, I would hope for a few more, so it's not too late. If you want to send in a picture of your local mailbox and what country it's from, uh, you can do so over the weekend. And uh, next week I'm gonna work on the video. So send that through Instagram at Rob Lennox or to my Gmail account, which is in the description. And uh, there's the alarm. I gotta get going. I gotta get this back to Santa before he notices that there's missing. So stay safe. What follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs>